Okay, so once you have, once you got your paper tape collected, right, you're gonna have dots on there. The machine puts 40 dots per second, so your paper tape's gonna look like this. Your paper tape record is gonna be like do 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 do. So you're gonna have all these dots right at the beginning, right? Because the the car hasn't gone anywhere yet, so the machine is just like do 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 do. And then all of a sudden, you're gonna see dot, dot. Now, what are you gonna notice about these dots if your car is accelerating? They're gonna they're gonna get farther apart because the car is going faster, faster, faster. Okay. Now, if the if the if the tape timer machine makes 40 dots per second, what will be the time from one dot to the next dot? 1 40th of a second. 1 40th of a second is the time from one dot to the next dot. Okay, so the first thing I would do, uh, the, the lab wants you to uh, make your measurements every 4 40ths of a second. And yeah, I know, 4 40ths is the same as 1 10th. Just do it in terms of 40ths because that's what the lab talks about. It talks in terms of 40ths. So the first thing I would do is I would go through and like label each one uh, every 4 40ths. So that dot, that dot is uh, 0 40ths, 0 40ths of a second. So then 1 40th, 2 40ths, 3 40ths. Label that one 4 40ths, 5, 6, 7. There's 8 40ths. All right of a second. Now, the number the first thing that the lab asks you to do is to make a data table of position and time. So your data table will go like this. And you're going to do this in your uh, graph paper uh, comp book for homework, the homework one. So time in seconds. This is number one on the lab. I'm just going to get you guys started. Time and position. Right? Isn't this what we've been talking about in class? Time, position, hey man, what's a name for change in position? Displacement. Is this car changing position, the toy car? Yeah, you know, and these, these dots, these dots are a record of the toy car's positions at specific times. All right, so your times go like this, every 4 40ths, so 0 40ths, 4 40ths, 8 40ths, 12 40ths, and you're going to go all the way to at least 40 40ths, anywhere between 40 40ths and 60 40ths, which would be one second to one and a half seconds. All right, so what's the position of the car? What's the position right there at uh, 0 40ths? It's 0 meters. It hasn't gone anywhere yet, right? So at 0 40ths, the position is 0. So then you go over to 4 40ths. Now, so this is going to be your um, position. So the position at 4 40ths, you're going to be measuring it from, from here, from the zero meter position. So the way you're going to do this is you're going to get a meter stick. Grab a meter stick, and you're going to lay the paper tape. Lay the paper tape on the meter stick and measure the position uh, measured from the first dot. But I want it in meters. So how are you going to get this measurement in meters? Well, let's say, for example, that you find out that this position right here, say that you measure it to be 2.4 centimeters. What is 2.4 centimeters in meters? 0 0.024. You divide by 100. 0 0.024 meters. OK, then you're going to go to 8 fortieths. Again, measuring from the 0. Right? Measuring from the zero meter position. So this is going to be something bigger than 2.4. So let's say you find out it's 6.3 centimeters. So then you're going to record that as 0 0.063 meters. I got to run to the hospital office and talk to my cat. They're watching the video and I got to Okay. So let's say, um, you know, so, so what I want you to do is measure in centimeters measure it in centimeters, and then convert it to meters. All right, any questions with this? All right, so once you have this data table, <clears throat> number two on the lab wants you to make a position versus time graph. And guys, make this large, because uh, the questions to come in the lab 
you're going to be using the, this graph. The graph you're making in number two, you're going to be doing tangent lines and measuring things. If you do an itty bitty tiny graph, it's going to be almost impossible to answer the questions later in the lab. So do a full page. Give yourself a full page um, in the graph paper comp book to do this graph. Make it big, right? All right, so you're going to have position on the Y and then time on the X. And by the way, whenever you have uh, data where time is involved, time always goes on the X. Does anybody know why? What, which, there's two types of variables. There's dependent and independent. Have you guys learned about that? Mm -hmm. You know, so here, which one's true? Does, does the position depend on the time or does the time depend on the position? The position depends on the time. Pretty much time is always the independent. Uh, when you're graphing stuff, you want the x-axis to be the independent. Time is always independent. It doesn't depend on anything. And then the y-axis is your dependent. All right? So remember, time always goes on the x. Okay? Now, if the car accelerates, if your toy car accelerates, what will this graph look like? Or why don't we say this first? What if your car doesn't accelerate? What if your car moves at a constant velocity? It's just like da 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 da. What would your graph look like if your car moves at a constant velocity? It'd be a straight line. The graph would just be like doo, right? Because remember, on a position time graph, what's slope? Slope is velocity. So this would be constant slope, which is constant velocity. If your car moves at a constant velocity, get another car because that's going to be a boring lab. You know, it'd be too, if you want an easy lab where you don't have to think, get a car that doesn't accelerate and you'll be done with this in like five minutes. This will be way more interesting if you get a car that accelerates. All right. If your car accelerates, what will the graph look like? It'll be a curve like this because remember, slope equals velocity, so if the velocity is getting bigger, what should be happening to the slope? The slope's getting bigger. Look at zero slope, bigger slope, bigger slope, bigger slope, right? This is an acceleration. The velocity's getting bigger. Okay? All right, so that's one and two uh, for the lab. Next week, you guys will have time to work on this in class. Uh, I'll check this Wednesday with the homework. Homework should be done on Wednesday. Labs done Wednesday. I'm going to give you time in class to work on it. Any questions? So we do this in our homework notebook? Do this in your uh, homework notebook, the, the graph paper comp book for homework.